I've previously done a few other colour schemes for neck ones. I've heard the previous ones have all been involved with the neck one primarily being uh, silver. This time, however, I want to do something different. So there's not going to be any silver paint on this miniature. In fact, there won't be any metallics on this miniature at all. I've started off with a white undercoat. After the white of Shabti Bone was applied for the neck one alone, but there's no paint been been applied for the weapon area at the moment, just the neck one itself. Next, I've mixed some Agrax Earth Shade with some Lamia Medium, and what we want to do is we want to apply this into all these little nooks and crannies. Don't try and do it as a wash and cover the whole thing. You want to spend the time and apply the, apply it more specifically because we want the bone areas to stay looking bone at this point. When you're finished, it should look something like this. Now you may notice that I haven't put any in the eyes. I've done the mouth and the nose and everywhere else, but I've left the eyes alone. Now we're going to leave this, give it time to dry. Next, we're going to use Screaming Skull, and this time we want to pick out the uppermost edges. As you can see, I've covered the edges, and with the rib cage, just paint the bottom of the rib. Don't paint all the way around it, just cover the bottom, and the vertebras cover the top of the vertebras. Next, we're going to do a highlight with White Scar, but this highlight is for the upper part of the miniature and not the lower part. We're having a 50-50 mix and we're using this colour in the middle. You want to try and make sure that whatever your position is on one side it's the same on the other. What I mean by position is how far down you're moving on the leg and it will help if it's even all the way around. So you don't want it high on the leg, want it around the back for example and then low around the front. Same with the arms, if it's so far up on the chest area try and keep the arms at about the same level. The reason why I've started off with this colour in the middle is because the bottom's going to end up red, the top's going to be yellow, but each time you add in the colours you want to give them time to dry. So by applying the middle first, once the middle's dry we can apply the red on the bottom and the yellow on the top in one go and therefore the top and the bottom can dry at the same time. It saves us a bit of the process of having to wait for things to dry all the time. I'm doing the same thing as before, 50-50, only this time it's a red. The previous colour isn't entirely dry because obviously it's sitting in the cracks and it takes a bit longer but on the outer sides the outside edges here you can see it's dry so we're going to get away with doing it a bit early slight bit of an overlap between the two colors for the top half i'm using this paint but because this is a paint it means the paint has got a thicker concentration so i would suggest using more of a two lamia medium to one part paint and again have a slight overlap between this colour and the orange that we've got in the middle. So we've got a yellow at the top, orange in the middle and red at the bottom. We now need to leave it, give it some time to dry and then we need to repeat the process and gone red. And this colour covered the feet and the ankles. As you can see at the moment it's still wet just because it's a sl Next we're going to use a little bit of dawn yellow just to pick up a bit of detail on the top of the model. The intent is to start dark and work the way up so it gets progressively lighter. So a little bit of dawn yellow will help to, to emphasise this to start a little bit further. The black I used was Abaddon Black. Next, I'm going to, on the same black areas, to give it some highlights, but I will still want to keep it very dark. So I'm going to use Corvus Black to give some highlights onto the edges. But I want to keep this as black as possible to give it a good contrast between the weapon and the neck one himself. And also I have done some other neck ones with some different colour schemes or different concepts that you might be interested in. So you might want to check some of those out. If you like the video, remember to like, share and click on the button on the lower right hand side to subscribe.